What's good, YouTube? We're back again with another video. And in today's video, I want to show you guys my Kobe Bryant Mitchell and Ness collection. Of course, paying homage to Mamba, rest in peace. If you guys don't know, if you're new to the channel, Kobe Bryant is my second favorite player of all time behind Michael Jordan. But of course, with Kobe passing away, I want to just show love. And I know he's going to live forever through us regardless. But me personally, I feel like it's my duty since he's influenced me so much off the court and on the court even after he retired, still dropping gems on us, still showing us the mama mentality, how to be a better dad, et cetera, et cetera. I got to throw this video out for you guys. So this video in particular, it's all Mitchell and S. None of my Adidas stuff, none of my Nike stuff, none of the other brands. So I think I have every single Kobe Bryant jersey that Mitchell and S released. I also have some gems that they released specifically just for Kobe Bryant. So we're going to get into a couple of those things as well. It's super hot, super humid. So if you see me wipe myself down, that's the reason why. But again, I had to do this video for Kobe. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go. All right. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the shorts. So we have some Lakers authentic shorts. Of course, this doesn't have anything Kobe Bryant on them. But the fact that Kobe wore these during his playing career, I had to throw these in here as well. So you have Mitchell and S authentic shorts. And then you have the yellow pair as well. So here you have the yellow, nice patch on the side. So that's always dope. And then you have two pairs of shorts that actually have Kobe Bryant's name on them. This is a cotton short and you can see Kobe Bryant's signature. You see the Lakers patch and these are really comfortable. You have like metal aglets, like, like shoe tips, but pockets, comfortable, even back pockets. And as you can see the Mitchell and S on the back and then Mitchell and Ness I believe last year or maybe not a few years ago I believe last year Kobe Bryant and Mitchell and Ness came out with their Hall of Fame apparel so you have Kobe Bryant with the two four on this one and sometime this year they released the ones with the eight on them then you have your Mamba logo which Vanessa and Kobe Bryant own you have your 24 and 8 and then your Hall of Fame emblem here as well so you'll see a couple of items with this patch on and I'm going to show you guys later but this was pretty cool. You had that dazzled like material on the gold and the purple as well. And these in particular came with pockets. That's always a nice addition to have pockets. And yeah, so that's that. So those are the shorts. And now we're going to get into the jerseys. All right. So of course we have his rookie jerseys. I mean, these are phenomenal, phenomenal jerseys. You have the gold emblem. Of course, Champion would be the creator or the manufacturer for the original 96, 97 jerseys. But love the drop shadow. Love these jerseys. These are fire. All right. I'm going to probably put these in the background somewhere so they're not all in the way. Then we have a special edition Mitchell and S. This is Mitchell and S and Clot collaboration. You have a wool jersey here. And I haven't worn it yet. I'm still figuring out when and how to wear it. But you see the jock tag. It's definitely a super dope jersey. And as you can see, the quality that they put into it. I mean, it's the seamless sublimation of wool. So this is definitely fire. I can't front. Definitely going to wear this with something really, really nice. So you have this jersey here as well. And then Mitchell and S also came out with a warm-up. A lot of people skipped on these. This is when Kobe was still around. So maybe that's why. But they had a warm-up. Again, in that cotton-type material. You have the Los Angeles Lakers heat pressed on. You have the Kobe Bryant 24 heat pressed on. And I believe you have a signature somewhere. You have the jog tag here. You have pockets on the side. And on one of the shoulders, here we go. You have Kobe Bryant on the shoulder, the signature. So that's super dope. But this is definitely fire. I love the fact that they brought out different type of things for Kobe. So that's always cool to see. And then we go to 1998 All-Star Game. Of course, this was played at MSG. Now, during the time of 1998, Nike would make these All-Star Game jerseys for the Lakers and for the Bulls. They also had a couple of other teams. This is very much the same style as the rookie jersey. And I believe they would wear the rounded neck for one more year. So Kobe would wear this style of jersey with the rounded neck 
in 96, 97, 97, 98, 98, 99. Then I think at 99, 2000, they will go to the Wishbone, which is their first championship. All right, so we'll get into that jersey as well. We have the 99, 2000 jersey, and this one is in a kiss cut. So doing my research as much as I could, it looks like Nike would make the on-court jerseys kiss cut during this time period. Now, if you got the retail authentics, they would be double stitched. But when I look at game worn jerseys, you will see Kobe Bryant rocking the kiss cut. So I believe Mitchell and S has two different versions of these jerseys, one with the double stitched and then one with the kiss cut. It seems like the kiss cut is accurate. Of course, you have the memorial band for Wilt Chamberlain, 1999. Keeping it 99-2000, we have a finals 99-2000 memorial band. NBA patch, jock tag, and this is their first finals championship. Him and Shaq playing against the Pacers, killing the Pacers, doing their thing. Of course, they would win this championship. One of the greatest duos of all time. But as you can see on this one, you have a double stitched eight. Still looks very beautiful. Either way, can't go wrong. But this is the 99-2000 jersey. As we get into the next year, this would be one of my favorite Kobe Bryant finals and playoff runs, period. This is the 2000-2001, and you have the finals patch here. They would repeat against the 76ers. Definitely a dope jersey in the collection. And then as we get into the purple away, you have the 2000-2001 Lakers, again, in that double stitched. Now we get into the first All-Star Game jersey. I'm going to show you guys. This is the year 2000. I believe he would rock the Kobe ones with like the Aston Martin looking ones, uh, the crazy colors. But you have that All-Star Game patch right here. Such a dope jersey. So there's that. And then we have the eight. Now they didn't do the year of the 80.1 game, but they did the second year, I believe these came out, which is 2003, four season. This would also be the season that they lost the finals in against the Pistons. So that's unfortunate, but the number eight jersey is so fire. The Sunday Whites is one of the best jerseys Kobe would wear during his career. So definitely have to pay homage to the Sunday Whites. Definitely dope, all right? So we have those right there now we're gonna go and shoot to some all-star game jerseys hold on okay so we got some all-star game jerseys for you guys we have the 2004 all-star game jersey with the west coming across sideways Sick jersey. He would wear these with the 2K4s. I used to have them. I sold them. Kind of pissed off. I sold them because, of course, he would wear these. And if you guys don't know, before Kobe Bryant had a signature line, he was wearing 2K4s, 2K5s. In 2005, 6, he would rock the Kobe 1, which you would see right behind me. And you would see iterations from the Hirachi lineup into his Kobe 1. So Kobe and the Nike Hirachi has its history, and that is why I regret selling it. So that is an all-star jersey here. And then you have the 2003 all-star jersey. This will be Michael Jordan's last all-star game. This would be a phenomenal all-star game as well. Both teams play hard, and Kobe did his thing. And in this jersey, you have an all-stitched NBA logo. You have a double-stitched NBA up top, single-stitched on the eight double stitch on the all-star this was a phenomenal phenomenal jersey and of course he would rock these with the true blue threes that may have been kobe paying homage to mj but him rocking the threes during this all-star game was a classic moment now we're going to get into the blue jerseys these are some of my favorite favorite jerseys of all time one's actually a very recent release i did a review on that and then when they get to the other two, all right? So let me show you those. So here you have the MPLS jersey with the 911 patch. This is Froby. This is Adidas, Kobe. This is, I'm gonna jump and dunk on you from the dotted line, Kobe. And just a sick, sick jersey. The MPLS done correctly. The numbers done correctly. 
You have your jock tag right here. Kobe Bryant straight across like how it is when he wore it. And of course he would wear this during the parade, which is amazing. And then you have another MPLS jersey that Kobe would wear during his career. I believe he wore this in the 2004 season. So you see the 0405. By this time Shaq was not on the team and they had Lamar Odom. Now, one thing I did notice about the jersey. So if you look at pictures of it, and maybe I'll put a picture up for you guys. It looks like the actual jersey had dazzle to it. The ones that Kobe Bryant wore. So you guys let me know from the picture to see if maybe they got the material right or maybe they didn't. But this is a beautiful jersey. The lake is across with the stars across. The Kobe blue jerseys to me are some of my favorite jerseys. And the next one may be one of my favorite Kobe jerseys of all time. So yeah, so this is the MPLS jersey. And then we get to the last blue jersey in the collection. You have the Los Angeles lakers blue script jersey phenomenal phenomenal jersey so funny enough this is actually a 1996 jersey now kobe bryant was on the team they wore the jersey once maybe twice during the season but i believe it was once it was in december in a game against the boston celtics and kobe bryant didn't play one minute in this game so you see him on the bench with his lakers purple warm-up but you can see this jersey underneath it Again, if I could put the picture up, I will, so you guys can see. But Kobe never played in this game. You do have some pictures of Shaq wearing his jersey with the gold emblem. But this is a game in which Kobe Bryant never played. Of course, they would wear this again, I believe, during the 2003-04 season. And you would see Shaq and Kobe. And Kobe would rock the Jordan 12 with this jersey. So it made this jersey definitely stand out for me. But the fact that they did the 1996 version was so funny to me. But yeah, so this is my favorite. This may be my favorite jersey of all time, as far as Kobe Bryant's concerned. Just the detail and everything in it, it's it's really nice, man. So one of my favorite jerseys right here. And then we take a look at the back, you have that, all right? That is all my number eight jerseys, all right? So we're gonna get into the 24 jerseys now for you. So the first 24 jersey I'm gonna show you is an all-star game jersey. This jersey is representing the 2000 and nine all-star game this is in phoenix he would win co-mvp with shaq number 24 and this would be the first time mitchell and s tries to replicate the adidas revolution 30 jerseys and i think they did a pretty good job the revolution 30 jerseys fit very snug and very tight so the fact that we had mitchell and s trying to replicate this style jersey i think is actually pretty dope so with that being said this is his co-mvp all-star game with um with Shaq as we get into the other 24 jerseys this will be the 60th anniversary jersey so another interesting fact about this Mitchell and S released this jersey without the 60th anniversary patch this would also be Kobe Bryant's only MVP season so you had the 2007-8 season this is also the season in which they lost to the Boston Celtics in the finals and then that fueled Kobe and the crew to win back-to-back -back titles the two years after. But this would be Kobe Bryant's MVP season. And of course you have the throwback version of this jersey, super sick. They wore really short, short shorts. I'll put a picture up so you guys can see it. But this jersey is just a classic jersey. Reminds me of the Jerry West days, etc. And then the 60th anniversary patch is just super dope. All right. So you have the 24 jersey here. We have a couple of more 24 jerseys for you guys. This is the 2009 jersey that Mitchell and Ness recreated. Of course, they would win the NBA championship against Dwight Howard and the Orlando Magic. You have your kiss cut. Definitely a nice jersey. You know, can't go wrong with the straight purple. So these jerseys are a little different. I'm going to just put both of them up together. I might as well. And shout out to the sweat on my arm. So you have these Hall of Fame jerseys. They are a little different. You know, it's one of those things you probably have to really love Kobe Bryant to rock these. You have that dazzled material on the purple one here. And then you have that glacier uh, twill in the, in the numbers. Again, against the Lakers, the same thing. 
and then you have again that gold and this year they came out with actually the number eight versions of these jerseys i do want to show you the jock tag again going back to that mamba patch which is pretty cool and you have 1996 to 2016 when kobe bryant retired so this is pretty dope in my opinion and keep it moving so i believe off the top of my head this is the first season in which kobe bryant would wear 24. this is representing the 2006-7 season and he would play 10 years in this number 24 he would play 10 years in the number eight so that's pretty much the significance of this jersey pretty cool jersey and uh, again with the kiss cut so dope on that end we have like another special jersey for you guys, I guess, uh, what you can call it. It's a gold edition Kobe Bryant jersey. They also did this with Michael Jordan, and I got that jersey as well. But you have a different patch. You have the 2008-9 season, which also represents that same season that they beat the Magic in in the finals. So nothing crazy, just a gold version of the Lakers jersey. And this one doesn't have the dazzle on the material, so... That is just a slight difference between the two. So this one's one of my favorite jerseys because it's representing the 2009 championship. This is the commemorative patch. So super sick on that. And then you have the kiss cut yellow Kobe Bryant. Can never go wrong with the yellow Kobe Bryant. Just a classic jersey. And that is that one. And then... You have a plain yellow Kobe Bryant as well. So you have the kiss cut Kobe Bryant. This is representing the 08-09 season. And, you know, simple Kobe Bryant jersey right here. This is one of my favorite jerseys. Although it's a game they lost in the 2010 finals, you have this finals patch. This is the first time we would see this patch. So I love the patch. I love the white 24. This is the first time Mitchell and S will release a white 24 jersey. So that's fire on its own end. And then, you know, just the great quality and stitching on these jerseys. So you have that jersey right here. Let me see. Where can I put it? Let me put this right here for you guys. So we're done with all our jerseys. I don't know how many jerseys this is. So that's the jerseys for you guys. I got to show you one more item. I recently did a review for it. This is the hall of fame jacket you have the mamba logo you have the 24 on the right sleeve you have the eight on the left sleeve and then you have the lakers patch so i mean when i say this is just quality really good quality i'm definitely happy with the purchase so that is that guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video rest in peace mamba we love you and kobe and vanessa's kids Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace, Gigi Bryant. Rest in peace, all the other people who passed away. He's one of the most important athletes in my life. And even after he retired, he had so many gems he was dropping to us. So you got to love it. You got to respect it. On that note, you guys know how I do. New subscribers, I appreciate y'all. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Um, old subscribers, I appreciate y'all. I hope you guys are still enjoying the content. With that being said, we out. Peace.